hey hey guys welcome back so this video will be um, more solely on sheen products as far as a review i have a couple of good ones maybe some bad ones but overall let's get to the video so the first stop is this um, power nail polisher drill now i actually like this one the only difference with this is that um it did arrive in this box kind of beat up but not too bad you know they did package it very well so it's currently empty at the moment it's already unboxed it i was too excited i can't can't wait to make a video and then try to unbox something that uh, doesn't work for me i'm too anxious and get too excited so this is what we have here in the box um this is for the pedal used for it um to be honest i really don't need it for it to work but I do believe that's the reason why um, my foot reversal doesn't work on the um, filer because um, I haven't plugged it in yet. But overall, the hand usage um, to this is very excellent. I love it. I'm, I cannot be more than pleased with this purchase. Um, so it is, it shows white, but um, I actually bought the black version so this is it here i've already set it up i've already started using it on my nails um it is i like it. it it the design of it is handy it's um led light uh the, that's the plug for the back um for the power and as you can see the um there's a side uh handle part doesn't connect to anything it's just for you to place the drill in whenever you're using your uh nail filer um it's to me i really don't use it it's just kind of in the way but it, it does come in handy when you just have to place it down i just place it anywhere to be honest with you um so it also comes with the it actually works um this is the you know the just the regular tool that they just place in there but um as you can see switching it's easy it's just like any other nail polish driller um very sturdy locks in fine um very tight these are the three main buttons that's the power button as you can see sorry if it's upside down um i wasn't trying to have the video turn out this way so oopsies but as you can see the more that i turn it the higher that it goes um the highest that it goes up to i do believe is 45 and that it is very powerful for the price um and you can turn it down um also as far as the buttons you have the hand mode the switch mode um and that's yeah that's that's how it works guys i'm just i don't know why i did all this extra as far as showing you that it works but it works i guess you know for the non-believers because it is hard to believe when you do buy something off sheen um that it works you know with good quality um again this is a hand and foot switch um, if you're using the mini or petty, uh, you have the off and on button, which is also a pause. It does show you on the screen on which one you're using, um, and then left or right, um, as far as front or rear, but, um, as far as the, uh, direction that you want the tool to rotate in, uh, again, easy pull out. You have your tools that it comes with. Uh, which is really cool you know you have six of them it's the basics they give you like 10 extra sand drills too as well sand beds um so i'm very pleased with this overall purchase um so the next one here this one here is the bad one bad 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 this is like not good at all so i bought this and i was highly upset i was so excited to get it and I'm thinking, okay, I can start with my nails. I can, you know, better uh, file my fingers without any issues. And look, it looks perfect. It looks brand new. Of course it is. You know, the drill, it's the same thing as the drill that I've gotten. So it didn't work. The overall 
um, machine drill did not work. So I'm just using this for a backup. Um, it came with the plug, of course, and it came with um, the white plug too, as to for it to plug into a power outlet. Um, it didn't have a, you know, the socket or anything um, that you connect to the USB cord. That's all it just gave. Um, and that connected to the um, main power, which is the this thing here, the overall drill. Now, it told me to go ahead and charge it for at least three hours. So I did that. Um, but what I noticed is that it wasn't fully um, popped in all the way when they were assembling it. So when I popped it in, tried to uh, charge it again, the power just doesn't want to come on. Um, I've tried to turn it on, power it on, and then you see the sticker on the back, it says pass, right? Um, no. So I don't know why they lied like this but um i wasn't gonna go ahead and just try to get a refund it's too much hassle for me i hate it that's why i kind of hate shopping online knowing that the stuff doesn't work especially if it's being shipped out from um out of the country so i just use this as a backup as far as if my current nail drill that i'm using now doesn't work um you know it has these instructions as well but um, I'm going to use the tools as well as the nail drill if anything goes bad with the ones that I'm currently using. So I guess that's not too bad. But overall, um, this has been terrible. And the only thing about Sheen's reviews is that you can't really get in contact with the seller. Um, when you try to get in contact with Sheen, they take forever to um, reply back to you as far as the issue with your product. So... Um, uh, that's that for me. So these here, um, I kind of found it interesting as far as the nails. Uh, they curve really back. Um, this kind of reminds me of the 90s because I had a teacher. She had a pair of nails like these. And um, it was she always had it red. But that's what made me buy it because it's more of a nostalgic thing for me. Um, they came in a great case. And... Um, it was a pretty nice amount, so it's not too bad. I kind of like it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to try these on soon or not for just a pair for me to put on. I might just try like a press-on nail. But you see how curvy it is? It looks like a, um, a plastic mouthpiece to me. <laughs> but um, yeah, these were the design for it. I thought it was interesting because it was different than your typical um, gel tips. So um, I just don't know how or what I will do as far as these type of nails. It kind of, I don't know how they'll look on my fingers, but we'll try it out one day. Um, again, I'm showing off the curvature of the tips. You know, and I've noticed too on some social medias where they have the curved tips too, it's kind of coming back in style. Um, so I don't know, we'll, we'll see what we can make up with this one, but it's, um, it's going to be interesting. So the next one that I have here is the, um, let's see, oh, why am I still showing this? Sorry. So I just wanted to show the case off, I guess. But here are these soft gel tips. Uh, these here, I thought I've already had, and I kind of thought, okay, maybe I'm making a mistake because there's a lot of sheens. Oh, and look how gorgeous it is when it opens. But she normally has like the same labels, so you can't really tell the sizes. I mean, you can because they tell you the sizes on sheen, but um, you don't know if it's longer or shorter. So I have these, and this is actually um, a lot, a little bit shorter than the ones I've already have, which is good because I like the length of these nails. Um, it's something that I like, I'm growing fond of is longer, longer nails. And I think it's going to be XXL or 3X nails, but I probably won't go that far. I may be going back to smaller nails because, because I, I always hit the tip of my fingernails and it hurts my finger. So it feels like it's going to pop off, but it doesn't. Um, but as you can see, these tips are a little bit longer than the one that I have on right now, which is, uh, pretty good. And I like the fact that it's very clear and shiny. Um, it's not like a MAC. I hate those ones. 
So this one here, um, there's this is another one that I've gotten. Um, I just try to see, um, cause I'm starting. To, I want to, you know, try to work my way into acrylic. I mean, I'm not really a big fan of acrylic, but me being a beginner tech and trying to get into more nails, you know, you want to have different um, ways of doing nails. So I figured I'd buy these, um, you know, just in case someone wants it long. If not shorter, you can always cut them down, right? Um, but these are super, super long, and these are just the tips. They're not the entire nail itself. So I was going to see how I would be with me doing the nail tip as far as acrylic now if you can see me putting it under my nail bed look how long these things are they are super 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 long um and again you can trim them but this, i actually like it because it's for the price you cannot beat that and they're really sturdy i don't care what you know other people may say about you know getting cheap tips they're all the same regardless of what they're gonna do the same thing as far as the job right it's just the name the brand on the name you know the name on the brand that's it but um these are actually good quality i haven't had an issue as far as my nails breaking buying things off of sheen the only thing that it does is um if you don't um put the tips on as far as doing them well enough they're gonna shape their own selves throughout the nail wear but anyways, now going into the nail, um, press on nails that I bought from there. I have an addiction to them because they just make gorgeous nails, right? Like something to put on if I just don't feel like doing my own nails. Something quick, easy. So the first one here is more of a, uh, can I, um, a lavender color. I love it. It may not be the same shape as the one that was on the photo, but this one here is very gorgeous. Um, I originally had some red ones I had on and I've gotten compliments everywhere I go you know I even bought um, someone um, I work with a set of um, the same cat eye press on nails the red ones but it was just a shorter version because she doesn't like long fingernails like I do but these here they are very gorgeous and they're easy to apply me personally I just use glue um, some people use the plastic um, adhesive that it comes with um, I don't I just because um, there's a I guess a technique to it that I recently found out about how to make sure it stays on there with the adhesive but I just was it gonna do with all that blow dryer type just give me the glue and I'll put it on and it should stay and it still stays for about two to three weeks because it's the glue that I use and it's from Sheen and it actually does the job too as well but look how gorgeous is that you you can't beat that like I tried to do cat eye um, and me trying to do it doesn't come out like this so I rather just buy it for the time being until I advance a little bit more under the cat eye um, technique and then you can see under the lighting too I just hate that it's out of focus right now and I still can't get it to focus but this is this is you can't go wrong, especially for the price of press on nails on Sheen. Sometimes they'll be a little bit too high, but you gotta catch it on sale. Like I always catch mine's on sale. Um, sometimes I try, I try not to pay more than two dollars. So like for this one, for instance, this was like a dollar and some change. This is beautiful. Like look at the color. Like my video, like camera, it doesn't do no justice. You have to see it in person. You have to get it in person. Like the color is so vibrant, very pretty. And it's just the shaping that's different, of course. And it's not as long as the photo, but it will do the job as well. Now, just a study up close, just a, a look at it. Look at how the light shines on it. And then look how it like just trans, like the, how do you put it? say it um just the color it goes into a purple and then a blue now for this one here um this one is another cat eye but it's more of a coffin type um i am in love with the person cat eye designs i mean yes sheen does tend to kind of like recreate 
other people's work which I you know me personally I would always look at the cup half full like if you're gonna take my design and recreate it that's perfectly fine you know to me I'm like okay I'm using something a company you know is willing to do as far as use but but you would also want to be compensated for it but however you know if you were able to get the copyright to your nails or your any type of designs like this then yeah i can see it but some people just don't have the pen people you know creativity you cannot really just do away with creativity but anyways that's besides the point but here oh my goodness like i tried to recreate the type of cat eye design um as far as this one on the nail and it is so gorgeous i almost nailed it on one of my nails but not really so i'm still working on my cat eye techniques um and it looks like it's a similar same color that i have on as far as my nails which is like a la girl but um oop. but overall these nails they're short you know to my but they're like the perfect size it's like the shortest i will wear my nails um but here you i mean you can't go wrong now with these here um I had to get them like even though these are just charms um, the flower isn't really painted on like it was on the original photo um, it doesn't do any any justice under the lap like you have to, all these nails like on the pictures you're gonna be like ah, it's okay but when you actually get them and you wear them you would be amazed at how many people will compliment your nails everywhere I go like every time I step out at least one person compliments my nails now look at all the charms oh the charms are so beautiful you know it's just the only thing with these nails with sheen is that the glue they barely put any glue on there but as you can see the original picture it is a lot more better than the um actual press on nails but they're still gorgeous you know like it's you can't go wrong and the rest of the nails you know they're plain and that's nothing wrong like I have dozens and dozens of charms and rhinestones and I can add to it um, but there's two other nails as you can see on here that has the little rhinestones on it so it's like basically the medium sized nails so this one here I've gotten it was the French tips I really don't do French tips because I used to get them all the time as far as when I used to get my nails done back in my 20s um, but now it's like kind of worn out to me to me french tips are more of a traditional or a wedding vibe for me um so looking up close you see they're beautiful butterflies that's the reason why i got them is because of the butterfly rhinestone i love butterflies um and the flowers they just give it that accent and give it you know just that little bit of hint of beauty to it to make it look stunning and this is like to me the perfect wear for a wedding a wedding reception um something of that nature you know it's gorgeous because you have the gold outline on the french tip which is a beautiful um a beautiful add and detail to it and just the rest of the nails they are plain that's why i didn't really put it out and spread it across but as you can see the other nails they do have like one rhinestone on each nail um but this is this is a gorgeous piece i had to get it and it, it's very cheap for the price now this one here um these set of nails i had to handle because i just love for some reason the moon the sun the stars you know like it looks like for more of a nighttime <laughs> a nine times set like a sleepy time set of nails like it just reminds me of pajama pants i don't know why um but i really like these i like it because they're the thick square ones they're the box square they're not really the narrow type but it would have been beautiful though to have it as a narrow type nails um but these i, I like it you know it's simple you know it's creative it's artsy and i love to have art you know as far as um my nails so as you can see on the original picture and of course it was under two dollars um it isn't as quite as the original but it's still similar um i i mean 
it's this is for like you know i have different moods just like everyone has different moods like you don't you're unless you're you're you know a predictable person but i'm unpredictable i love to just come up with random designs sometimes i want to be girly sometimes i want to be laid back sometimes i want to be artsy and earthy um it's just depending on my mood but here's just a close-up of it you have the night skies with the moon then you have the sunny days with the sun and they're all with clouds now um, this here is a drill the drill that I've gotten that I've replaced I don't know if you've seen on my previous video I've gotten a gold drill to do the nail as far as the um, the ring to it you know the little um, jewelry part so I wanted to add charms to my nails right but the gold one that I previously ordered did not want to open it looked like it was stuck or wasn't even made to open but this one here it came with different types of uh, size needles and the way you um, apply it inside and um, assemble it it is not that hard it's just a quick twist and you're all good to go and it's very sturdy um, as you can see in the photo here, it costs like a little over $3. But that was fine to me because the other one, the gold one was like maybe 2 $3. And it just, it came with one needle supposedly, but I don't know. Um, but with this one, you got to be careful. Don't want to push it too far back. It may end up all the way inside the actual tool itself. Um, but as you can see me trying to pull onto it. It's, it's not coming out. It's not going nowhere. And I actually did my first drill, as you can see on my nail. I'm not sure if you can see the little um, ring hanging out. I actually did that hole with uh, one of the needles. And it didn't take nothing but a couple seconds for me to do it. It took a while to start the beginning twist. But overall, towards the end of the process, it was easy. It didn't have no cracks or anything. So very, um, uh, very satisfied. Um, so I got these here. Um, this is to, to try to um, sculpt, to try sculpting my um, nails as far as the gel builder, um, because I'm more into that. Um, I love gel; it stays more on your nails. Um, and so this is a hundred piece, right? So maybe you can get uh, ten cents, ten sets out of it. Um, so here I have the different types of gels from Sheen, uh, Miss Monday again, um, and then which I should have never bought, but I didn't realize until after I purchased it. Now this one here is um, a new type of gel, you know, that you use with your own paintbrush. It's a smaller one, but I've already used it and I love it. Um, so I'm going to show you the colors um, in a few seconds. And then I have three of these. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I love them. So starting with the first one here, um, this is the uh, um, color on the screen. Now this has been sold out and it hasn't been came on back into stock just yet. Um, but I've learned with Miss Mondays, you have to, uh, you apply it and then you wipe it down. Now, as far as the other nail sets, or gel polishes I have I don't really have to do it so I just learned with Miss Monday so I guess she's okay with me um, but as you can see the color just doesn't um, it does it, it looks kind of dark but it isn't it's actually the same color in the screen you just have to you know work with it um, apply I think it's just two coats and it looks just like the one on the photo so overall, I'm not disappointed at all, even though Miss Mondays have disappointed me back in the day. But this one here um, has actually um, changed my mind a little bit. Not too much. And the bottle is pretty big, so you get a good amount. Um, but again, you got to pay attention to the glass, though, because those bottles sometimes are thicker and they don't have as much inside. Now, this little bottle here, I had to get it. Um, as you can see, the color is beautiful on the photo. So once you pop this bad baby open, and of course they have the uh, protector on there, but I've already used this one here. Look at the color. OMG, this is a um, cat eye, right? 
and I'm in love with cat eyes. I love anything that is gonna do a standout, anything, you know, not the ordinary norm, you know, and that is just a beautiful color. You can't go wrong with that, and I got some on my finger, but you cannot go wrong with this color, and it's a good amount. The bottle is actually kind of deep, um, so you are definitely getting your money's worth here. Um, it shows the color. Of course, it's in, um, you know, a different language, but I have Google Translator um, on my phone, so I can easily just pop that bad baby open. Um, so this one here, uh, this is Zai J. I, I don't know. If, uh, forgive me if I'm pronouncing it incorrect. Um, but, of course, they have the English and um, Chinese writing as far as the language on here now this is the bottle it came with this is the black color i think like um it's glass so the gel color is a glass color um i haven't tried this one yet but hopefully i will soon i just haven't figured out what i want to do with it yet um but it is gorgeous look how it, it looks so thick and black but when you apply it it's like a glass color so I love it. I, I really can't wait to use this and apply it to something. Um, and it comes in a gel glass. Or oh, gel glass, sorry. In a glass container. And again, it's um, sometimes with these containers, you have to be wary because it is thicker. So they make it seem like you're getting more out of it, which you're not. But it's definitely worth the price. Now, as you can see, look how beautiful the bottle is itself. Um, you, I can't go wrong with this. Uh, this is actually the fourth bottle I got, or third or fourth bottle. Um, so you can't go wrong. Now with the other uh, gel polish, this one I've already applied to my nails. Now I do believe this is the pink one, if I'm not mistaken, and when I tell you I used this on my um, nail set I have on now for like a more of a marble pink, I have gotten nothing but compliments. They l look at the color. It doesn't do it any justice as far as how it is right now. And if you see on the photos, it's exactly like the photos. Look at the shine on it. Look, I just, I don't know. I love, 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 love this color. And I love pink, but this is the perfect pink Barbie. Like, I, I can't stress it enough. This is a beautiful color. And it's neutral. It's not too vibrant. It's not too dull. It's perfect. And again, you know, however many coats you put on, you know, it, it still comes out beautiful. I mean, I am... I love it can't go wrong so this one here is the green one it's more like a emerald green to me but um I love it I actually have these on my toes I did a double coat and it's actually more like a triple coat so it came out more like this color instead of like the glass color um, it's still cute I love it it's more of an earthy green to me and the price is well worth it um it's like I don't know I like this green it's not too much um, it's solid it's just I, I love it I should have done one coat but two coats would have made it more like the first uh, coat um, but it's more of a thick solid coat I guess it's just depending on how thick your coat is right um, but I love it now these th six here I thought it was just one color um but it's color changing depending on i think the temperature um so i've already uh welcomed myself to opening it uh so i decided to get this color here um and as you can see i poked a hole with all sheen's gel nails of course they come um they come very like security sealed like you can't break into this shit type of deal like 
um i had to get a nut like i gotta get a blade like you know those small art blades to cut these seals because they don't even have like the tip part to just where you can get it pop it open with the thumb part no you gotta fight with it so as you can see here from the one i picked out of that's the color i'm trying to get it adjusted to the screen um it's not working there it is um so it's like a pretty purple you know and it of course it has the um to where you can um I, I don't know how would you put it like the little shimmer or the you know i don't know but it's in style like it's trending right now um but i wanted the solid color i didn't want a change color changing one so that was my bad i um need to start focusing more on the words than the photos <laughs> But um, hopefully, you know, the next time, because I'm looking for a white. Um, I seen someone do that I follow that does a white color and she does it well. She did a very porcelain type nail. But um, anyways, now these here, oh my gosh, let me tell you, I only wanted the gold, but I was like, hey, why not? What the heck? Let me get all different types of metallic colors chrome colors so that way you know i won't have to be out of okay well i got this now but i don't have this chrome then i have to order it and blah 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 and it's just um then you you know this is even worse you know because it's packing up my station with all kinds of stuff but anyways these are the colors that it came with now it has gold it has silver um it has chrome and then it has the different colors now this one here i decided to open this is a blue color look how beautiful it is the only thing i'm upset about is of course the quantity like it's not really filled up it's barely halfway um you can on some of these little um jars you can actually see the bottom of the jar so they don't give you too much which i can kind of you know hey you get what you pay for you know if it was like to be twenty dollars of course they're gonna pack it like a rat right but um here like these ones um they're barely even halfway filled so of course um when you get your tool you'll try to use um try not to waste as much as possible um as you can see on this one i do believe this is a silver one so when you look you can tell you can see the bottom right i have not used these this is my first time opening this even though you know me like i am so anxious to open shit up as soon as i get it because i can't wait like i bought this shit i'm gonna see what it looks like and then i'm gonna let you guys know and that's the whole point of the review right it's just not opening it right then and there sometimes i gotta try this stuff out so i can let you guys know how it is hey you know what am i here for like we can't we can do this together or we can do it before you know just to let you know ahead of time while i'm doing the reviews so with this one i do believe this is a rose cord or copper um yeah so that's that's the um feel like it's not even filled up but again like you know you're not going to use a lot of these um depending if you have like a lot of clients that they love the chrome or the metallic you know over the nail color um uh, but i can see myself purchasing this again i may like write them and say hey can you put a little bit more product in it um you can do that you know it's not you know it won't hurt to ask questions now these beautiful mamma jammas the color um so these are the powder neon powder i had to get some of these because i seen so many nails that are currently in trending um because of you know they have the rainbow art um with different things so i decided to buy me a pack this one here is like um this is a nine pack um they do have it six or twelve so i just wanted to get the basics nothing too major um, so be careful when opening this because there's a lot of product that sits on top of the seal now as you can see it does come a little bit more than halfway full but um it still doesn't have a lot of product in it which is fine because you do have to do a lot of dipping and stuff right so from the photos you can see that's the reason why i bought this so i can go ahead and do my um rainbow brushing um so i actually um done a set of nails with these powders um let me tell you this 
it is best to get a um like a primer or um the actual nail look how pigmented that is though on my fingers very pigmented but um i actually um didn't have a primer for those to sit i tried to do it on a mat it didn't hold and um i had to kind of work with my nail uh builder um because you know it still had that sticky into it sticky top to it um it still didn't come out right um it came out okay but it didn't do like the blending that i wanted to do um but overall like as far as this product it's really good um a lot goes on your brush so when you do use this product dip it lightly um unless you want like a whole lot but do dip it lightly because it it sits on that brush and there's so much um so moving on to the sticker products now some of these are for my toes and some of these are like just nail stickers um for whatever nails i decide to do right so the first one here is these beautiful toe stickers i didn't know they had these until i actually stumbled across them i bought one i have not used it yet now these they this one didn't come with instructions but the one i have the other one i have actually does come with instructions i had to get this one because look how gorgeous this is look at the gold look at the flower the detail and it is beautiful and all you have to do is just make sure your toes are clean um stick it or um, apply i would apply the gel base um and then this one here it's the same thing um all you have to do is just put it on your toe and then file it down um nothing different from you know this ones you stick on your fingers so this here this one here is the one that has the actual directions um very easy very simple and this one i love because it's of course the beach um seashells um star you know star you know starfish and everything i almost forgot what it were but with the light blue very calming color for me since i am a fire sign however um so this one these are the uh nails uh, this sorry the stickers that I wanted to get for my nails and these two here are for the zodiac nails because my birthday is coming up and I am getting ready to do um, some zodiac Leo nails shout out to all the Leos um, but anyways and shout out to the rest of the gang as far as the zodiac side you know everyone's part of them <laughs> um, but anyways one's pink and one's blue um, and they're different they're not the same um they carry different types of stickers now um this part here is for the um charms and stuff like look at that here sorry my water bottle's in the way but all these fun goodies are up next um i can't wait to go through all of them it's a mess and I had to figure out what I want to do. And excuse me for having my cigarette in the picture. I did go back and relapse for a while. But I did quit. I don't know what it is. But with me, I quit cold turkey. Then I pick back up once the world and the traffic stresses me out. Anyways. So this is what I have here so far. As you can see, I have different charms. Um, different uh, gems. Different rhinestones. And I cannot wait to get into details because all of these you're gonna love like i love them i had to get them and i grabbed it and some of here are and you have to really keep in mind because even though this make probably look like it cost me a lot it probably did not because i'm always catching them on sale some of them are really to be honest with you are under a dollar or two dollars believe me when i say this um so let's get right to it so the first one here I have, um, well, I have the butterfly sets. That's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do first. I don't know. Let me double check. Um, so yeah, for here, these are the four butterflies. Each pack for me costs under a dollar and they come with 10 of them. And I got four of the ones that they had to offer okay so here we're gonna go into detail with the charms so these are the gems i thought these were so gorgeous as far as the photo now when you actually get it and it's uh like in front of you 
it is so immaculate like the sparkle to it is so beautiful like my camera doesn't do it any justice but look at here it looks so it's, it's like ice like it looks like real diamonds and i love these charms you cannot go wrong i don't know what i'm gonna do with these as far as the charms but i'm gonna figure something out but these are too cute too gorgeous i mean i'm thinking i'm like all about the benjamins with these and these are some rare type of diamonds you know what i mean and they're come in different shapes so for the next one here it's the same kind of ones um i don't know why they as you see in the photos i don't know why they sent me like these types but they're all different varieties it's somewhat similar to the previous gems um rhinestones but as you can see they're different shapes ovals hearts stars um snowflakes it is too cute like you cannot go wrong with these and look how they just sparkle oh my goodness this is what i live for as you know what nails but it comes in different colors too as you can see that gold one um it doesn't come in a big quantity but i still love it different colors you get purple green gold silver even um well as far as glitter now this next one here it's similar to the previous ones i try to get it as same as possible and as far as the backstone of it um it looks like uh gold trimmings for the back you know just that it makes a big difference to me you know it doesn't look cheap or anything um i have the red and i have the blue uh the blue one it, both of these are gorgeous like you you can't go wrong you really can't go wrong now these little bad babies i got in these i did not know they were actually going to be this small and i should have seen it through the look on the photos but i didn't want to open it because i know it's going to be hard for me to get it back in there um but they come in different small shapes they have squares oblongs even like an s type of um design and it has like um the long oval uh long square rectangle and it's different varieties now here as you can see just like the previous the first one that i actually brought into view this is like a little bit more of a darker blue and purple now the other one was a light blue and a light pink and it does the same thing it shimmers oh my goodness i have actually like a iridescent clear type one i had and it was like on um, back on my other videos but they are beautiful now these here there's different sizes different shapes um some of the backing are like the silver ones which i really don't like um you see as you can say the gray um it doesn't really give it that shine to it but i still take it it'll still be useful you know you can't complain um and they give you quite enough for under two dollars so you really can't go bad on any of these you can't go wrong especially if you're an artist and you can just come up with all different types of stuff um that you know it's it's good for that you know you can put it to work to anything now this one here these brown ones i thought it was going to be a little lighter as far as the photos but as you can see it is somewhat dark um it has like an orange yellow brownish um different coloration to it it's still pretty but i just thought it was going to be a little lighter um and it came in its own packing and this is the only one that ever that came with like the cuticle pusher and the fowler with the adhesive um tape or sticker um, but i didn't open these yet i uh, don't know really what i'm going to do but I, you know what i might just by the looking at the color of it i got something cooking in my head for these so um, I can't wait now um, well with all the charms that I've gotten these were different <laughs> you know uh, these are the um, are the AKs or the guns whatever you want to call it it was pretty decent as far as like what under 50 cents for these pack a 10 I think um, you really can't go bad because especially with you know the money signs and all that it's still in trending not a lot of people but i mean to me believe to be honest with you it's all in what the customer wants and if you're able to do um different things instead of just stick to one type of nail um category like as far as the design you'll be in the game now okay so back to the butterflies now i have gotten four different ones as you can see on the um 
photo here with the screenshot of the different butterflies. Uh, you see it's the pink, silver, gray, and the golden. I got all four. Um, right now, it showed that it was it's not on sale. Well, it says sale, but I actually got it for like 90 cents. Uh, so it went up when I took the screenshot of this so I can put it uh, with the video just to show you how it looks I mean, it's just like the photos Everything is just like the photos, you know, some of the stuff doesn't work like the photos But it this uh, this is really beautiful like these pair and they're pretty big like pretty large as you can see her finger The butterfly actually is a little bit wider than her fingernail, which is pretty much true um, on my end well for me, too um, it, this is a rose gold No, this is a golden one. I think um, it, It's just look the back part. It's solid uh, Metal, you know you it's sturdy. It is very sturdy. And that's one thing we want as far as our clients to have it sturdy um, charms to, For their nail because they don't want it to pop off within the next day or two You know what I mean? And there's a key that I do as far as making it stick. I tried to go uh, put the glue over the rhinestone that's actually, you know, the smallest part, which would probably be the middle of this butterfly, just so it has a solid, you know, hold to it. But those are the um, butterflies that I purchased. So here I purchased the zodiac sign. It's under $3. You actually get three different colors. You get the silver, the pink, and the gold. Um, I already have the gold one a set, but I didn't know this set came with purple and so uh, pink and silver. So I just went ahead and bought this whole set again, even though if I gotten gold, um, you know, just hey, an extra set for me. It's they only give you one um, each one in each color category, which is fine with me. But you cannot go wrong with this price as far as under three dollars. It's under a dollar per pack. So what can you do? Like what? I mean, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong at all. Um, so I'm really happy with those purchases there. Now for the next charm is moving up. We have this. As you can see, it's like the blue part is actually like the same color as my fingernails in this video. Um, I think uh, it's ten in a pack. You know, I have to get good quantity with good quality. So, 10 or more and it's under $2. Like, what can you do? And then look at the detailing. Look at the little um, chain that it comes with. It is beautiful with the moon on there. Like, what? I mean, what? So, I, I didn't pull all of them out of the bag. But, um, there's some more in there. But, I only showed just enough to have it. So, you can see the full detail in my hand. Um, they're actually pretty big. They're just like the photos, the size, and everything. Um, as far as the nail on the photo, I think it's like mid-length. It's not too long. It is beautiful. Look at that detailing. Look how gold and shimmery it is. It's it's like a art for nails. You know, like, what? what? Who would have thought that, you know, nails would be taken this far from like 20 years ago? Because 20 years ago... They didn't have charms like these, you know, like they're start. It, it, it's great to have so many people with creativity and um, putting so much use as far as the nails, like the charms. So for this one here, these charms, the moon charms. So I was trying to do more of a, a sailor moon type um, press on. Uh, soon to come because on the other charms well in um, further down this video you'll see what I mean but look how beautiful these are the detailing the work it's like what you know what I mean um, it was for three dollars for a pack of ten um, which I didn't mind because the reason why is it was selling out and of course she sells out you don't know when they're gonna get it back in and blah blah so I just said you know what forget it hey why not and that was just me but you know I was just trying to teach you guys just to kind of grab stuff that's on sale and they send you notifications anyways but this set here this little packet it was just all kinds of randoms so I just didn't buy it just to buy it but I was looking at the photos and I was like, hmm, you know, there's unique different charms on here. You know, you don't want the same plain on plain Jane with the gold or the silver. Um, so you, you see how it has a little pineapple. Um, it has the pearl with the squirrel di uh, squared 
with the little rhinestones in it. You have the little flowers, three piece um, to one scent. You have the rose with the two pearls on it. I mean, it's a different variety, it's something different, something that you don't run across um, often, like this one here. So this one here is more, I, I loved it. It caught my eye. I have a, a thing to like for nice looking cute stuff like lavish, what, what can be turned into something lavish. So if you look at these, these are gorgeous. I should have got the silver and I should have got the gray, but I didn't. Um, I'm more of a gold person, but I know I had to do, you know, be versatile because some clients don't like gold. Some of them like silver. So it can't be always what I like, but I do like nice, cute, you know, stuff that pops out. So with this here, you can see um, it does have the little ring going around the heart. And it is pretty, um, as far as the ring part, it's pretty standish, like as far as the width. Sorry, I had to drink a, a little sip of my Pepsi. But um, look how beautiful that is. Look at the rhinestone in the middle of the heart. Now it's like more of a molten, melted heart or whatever you want to call it. Um, you, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I just know it's beautiful and I can make a piece of art with someone's nails. And I've gotten compliments with as far as the charms I put on my nails. And I don't, I try not to charge so much. You know what I mean? It's just ridiculous. I buy these at a cheap price and then just to overpay somebody. I mean, I can understand the type of work and art and time that you put in. But you know these charms are cheap. Come on now. But anyways, look at these gorgeous butterfly charms. Oh my goodness. I w was waiting for this. And then for the photo, as far as before it went off, how big it is as far as your nail look at like i think i'm gonna place this just look how big it is like you can't what this is nothing tiny this is like hey look at me look how gorgeous i am look at the nails that i'm on you know come get yours done where she got hers done type deal <laughs> but look there's six different kinds clear iridescent red blue green and um struggling to get the sixth one out um so give me just a minute here and it's a battle that might turn into a war okay here we go oh no i brought oh, look at me i didn't got the same one out okay there we go um I don't know what's the difference. Oh, no. I'm actually sorry. It's the lighting. It's actually a light pink color. Very light pink color. Look how they're beautiful. Now, with these, um, I actually bought them for the um, ring for your charm to be sitting um, on the side of your nail. Um because I have the rings for it. So I thought that was kind of pretty for these. Especially the lockets. Or the keys. But um. As far as the hard locket. Excuse me if there's background noise. I'm actually doing this outside. Um. But. I was going to use those for just like to hang it off the tip of your nail. Now moving forward with these bad babies. These. I love them. I. I'll probably use them for like a galaxy or use it towards like um like a zodiac nail um it's hard to pop these things open with nails and it hurts my fingers i'm sorry it just you know any like i'm very tender but anyways it's a different story so as you can see the ring on it is pretty um thick too as you can see and it's very sturdy so i mean this is like a metal type so it's it's glued on as far as the pieces so you can see from the photo screenshot it's beautiful it's just like the pictures can't go wrong and it's sold out but more than likely it's probably back in stock you know how they do they'll sit there when you order stuff and then they'll show it and say hey you know as soon as you already done checked out well we got this but look how beautiful it is it's cute um this is perfect for like a cat eye background amazing so 
and it says six of six set of three now here I bought this as far as like trying because of the hearts it kind of reminds me of Sailor Moon so I really want to get those nails done because growing up that's what I was watching anime Sailor Moon like little Nicola uh, it's just anime tunes and all that so that's why I got it for so look in here these are the six different types of charms that came with it um, you have the moon circle pentagram the heart um, it looks like the heart with a stand on it um, I'm not sure what the other one is and then there's the regular heart with the red ruby in the middle now all of these are really cute um, the sizing on the nail it's perfect it stands out and that's the thing I like about charms just certain ones is I like my clients to have nails that stand out whether it be a design or a charm um, of course you have to do coating on these just for the uh, gold to last now you can go ahead and make uh, $600 nails off of these just little charms now this here um, I bought just to try it out because I see different charms on people's fingers um, different varieties different shapes so I figured hmm let me try this out now they're actually beautiful it's beautiful pieces as you can see there I think it's five in each row um, and it's not bad for $13 uh, you know whereas people pay $500 and hey you know you you spend what you buy like me I'm a beginner right now and I'm starting when I get to that stage and yeah I'll I'll go ahead and put more money and invest more money it's what you're supposed to do right but right now I mean this works just as fine like I get compliments everywhere I go I haven't really tried these charms yet um, but they're better in person like the bling on it it's I love it it sparkles you know and you can't really tell the difference unless you're really you're really looking you know and I'm not knocking nobody off like hey if you want to spend that you got the money to spend for it, and you got clients that pay that money by all means but me starting off right now and just because like I'm getting there but you know if you're not certified and you just want a beginner trying it this is perfect you know you're not spending too much you're investing but you know you don't have to charge a dollar you can charge maybe 50 cents a charm or whatever i mean because if you really look at it it's 50 i think 50 pieces if you get five i don't know by math i've never been good at math i have to get you know into it but anyways like if you really just do the math 50 pieces uh 50 cents per piece it's probably more you know profit than what you spend as far as 13 14 dollars on this so you're getting your money plus profit and you can reinvest that but anyways look how it Look at this this is beautiful the heart it's the magenta and it's big it's it's you know it stands out again i love things that stand out i love the things that just speaks to you you know you don't have to look hard at it it's just right there in your face and it's different varieties different shapes different colors and that's the thing about it like i love the different um shapes that it has to offer and it does come like as far as the back it's an indentation so that way it kind of shapes into the nail you don't really have to because i hate when it's just a straight back or like a pointy back end and then you have to like figure it out to get it to stand up right so this here um it was just like a, a different mixture of pieces of um karomi uh nail um, charms just different ones and I thought that was pretty cute I mean you can't beat it four bucks for like a set of 50 um so I mean it's not bad I mean cute for little girl nails uh, people who are into that stuff as far as the characters you can come up and that's the thing about the beauty of nails if you're very artistic you know what to do and you can you know come up with anything you ain't got to look at nothing and you can get some inspiration I'm not knocking nobody off but you can do anything with these, you know, toenails, fingernails, whatever the case. But, I mean, there's a different varieties of it, which I love. You know, you got small pieces, you got, um, of course, you got a little bit of big pieces. And then if you look down um, below the yellow charm, there is those mini pieces, the little baby ones. And they're different characters, different designs. Um, I thought they were really cute. And you can't beat it for the price. Look how much I have left in the bag versus what I just poured out in my hand. So you get a good enough, you you get like a good a good amount in one bag. 
for four bucks so and you don't have to use these for nails too you get different crafts you know jewelry earrings it's very versatile and it's not bad again you'll get your profit with these you charge 50 cent a nail boom um so the, these here they're coming a three set uh again i just bought these because of the different variety like the different type of characters um the way they were created or um how do you put it just like the different types you have the lavender um purple karomi you have the popsicles um and then you just have the regular ones i already did a set with um one of them it was the pink uh the karomi pink friday which i thought it was really cute um, I was gonna wear that, but um, I guess I'm gonna put that into my collection just to, you know, have it there just in case one day I do feel like just putting it on, I could throw it on um, without having to figure out or try to do a set. So, um, and look how, and then these right here, these have the glitter effect on the background, so these are more of the glittery ones. And I thought that was pretty neat because, you know, you get the regular ones. It's just like the plain background, but you look how it shines. has the glitter to it. Um, and it's a pretty nice size, so it will stand out on your nails. And I'm just trying to make sure you get to see it fully as um, for the um, exact character with the bow. Um, so, yeah, it's different. I, I love it. It's And it's basic. It... You know, you can do it with any colors, like a light baby, excuse me, baby blue background. These, some of them have, well, this is a glitter background too. I look at that, I did the ones on the right hand side of Karomi, uh, and it was so cute, so cute. Um, look at that, that's, and it's five in each pack, so, um, you can't really beat that either and you have the popsicle ones um and then the the pastel pastel color ones pastel color ones is the one that i like as far as the lavender and the pink one those are the ones that the reason why i really wanted this one is because they look more of a baby um it's cute for like um you know a baby shower or gender reveal or whatever the case is um or a little girl just um, different playful nails it's very cute um, I do believe it's five in a pack and I'm trying to figure out is that four or five on the left hand side I don't know it looks like four but I'm gonna have to recount it later anyways um, and you may hear my dog in the background I got a, a English bully and a bulldog and he, you know how they get when they start to breathe in hard. So if you hear him in the background, I'm sorry. Um, he's just been a little fussy lately. So these here is just the head portions. Um, I thought they were really cute. The dog in the middle reminds me of Snoopy. And I don't know why, but well, of course, because I mean, that's the colors, right? But that's what, um, those were the ones I wanted as far as the three pack because it's different varieties. Um, you can't beat it, you can't go wrong. I do believe I got some that were in that package, the same as the um, one on the five pack. Now, I do believe I got some of these popsicle ones here. So, you see the purple, yellow, and pink beautiful colors, very versatile, and you can make what you want to make. I was thinking about doing like a Candyland um, version or set with these but i'm still trying to figure out what i want to do um different colors as far as the popsicles and it's kind of giving me a hard time to try to pry these open um, but look at here you got the oval um, circle shape like the round shape square shape you got hello kitty um and i don't know the other characters um so yeah and it, i do believe it comes uh 10 in a little pack so you have 60 which is nice um it's still a fair decent size. Now, coming up here, we have these. Again, I have bought another set. 
and they probably look similar this one more of a glittery effect to it too but as you can see um the karomi one the black one with the pink bow i have that one on the previous sets pretty much the same um so yeah it's five in each set and it's like um it's not bad not bad at all and it's pretty size the detail and uh, that's the another thing about um the fact that i like these charms is the detailing as far as the color um you know the ribbons the face the face painter painting and everything like that i don't know how they do it especially with individual charms like this like it takes a lot of work you know unless they have like a spray paint that or a machine that does it automatically but if they do this hand by hand i applaud them because i wouldn't be able to do it either but this is a whole set um it's uh two rows of five so um it's not bad at all so these here these are more of a matte ones they're not shiny at all and i um did a pair of these two as well on the chrome pink friday that i previously put on my shorts um i couldn't like i really loved these it's the hearts and i was thinking about come valentine's day to make a set with these because there's nothing but hearts it's all they're carrying is hearts um so yeah i can't wait to use these and they kind of remind me of like marshmallow candies i don't know why i guess because of the matte color but you can't go wrong they're really cute they're too cute not to buy so that's exactly why i bought it so hopefully i get to use these up too um i don't know if they are sold out or not so the other one i have next i do believe i'm not sure if this is the last one like i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of tired of seeing these charms <laughs> but i bought it though <laughs> But these are about um, close to five dollars. Um, you get a good set. You have um, two rows of fives, um, and there's five a piece. And as you can see, the it's matte as well. I love the Hello Kitty one because it reminds me of just like the plain one, like the sticker, the um, you know, not too shiny. So, and they have the different characters again. I don't know which is which, but. Um, these are cute these are you know very fun and playful especially for little girls little girls that like big charms but you know you can't really i mean you can't really give them long nails or anything like that but um you can still put this like on their big thumb or the middle finger i mean it's something playful to work with i like it um i'm probably gonna wear or do something with my next set and another one of these i don't know did oh i didn't know i bought this much um these are under five dollars as well um a row uh, three rows of fours and i do believe it's like five in each set five or six maybe so i don't know um it looks more than probably around 10 maybe i don't know i'm trying to count um, but it's a fair price as well because look how much you got for under five dollars um, If you were going somewhere else or maybe like a regular nail store They'll probably charge you fifteen twenty dollars for this little bad baby, right? Um, so I'm glad I am able to get it off um, Cheaper for Sheen and that's the thing with people as far as charms you have to know what um, Glue to use as far as the rhinestone glue I use a rhinestone glue, but I make sure like I kind of get to where the rhinestone hugs the base, like the corners of the charm, so that way they can hang on tight. Now, here is the butterfly gummies. I am in love with gummies, 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 and I have yet to use some, so I, um, I may do it down the line as far as the nail video. Um, I got these because I never got them the white ones before but I've got the rest of the different gummies um, in different packages different orders this is currently sold out and I got it because of the butterfly container of course I love butterflies as you know previously stated on my other videos um, and they come um, you know decent packs I wish they would have put a little bit more because you know to see the purple it's not much it's like maybe four or five I don't know um but it's still fair it's a fair price and then um at the top of the butterfly on the right hand side well it's upside down so it's going to be on the left hand corner it's small 
teddy bears um, and it's different colors as you can see um, and then the rest you have the gummies you got in the black gummies I've never seen any or ate any but this is the first um, so it's different so they try to implement all different colors um, they even got the clear ones up there I buy the pink ones um, of course you got the solid white um, so yeah this is a pretty decent buy too okay so this here is um the charm set i don't know it's just a different variety of different type of charms and it's cute i like because i i think i got i don't know if it's like a pie or a cookie um but you can see on the left hand side it has a little white frosting on top of it but it was cute i thought it was cute so it's like maybe i can make like a, a junk foodie or something like that now so you have different um characters you have cows pigs butterflies uh, rabbits you even got pumpkins which would be cute for um since um the next what holiday is um halloween and you have um even uh like wizard hats which was different because you don't normally see that you even got i don't know if this is like a juice bottle um a blue juice can i don't know but it's different and that's what i like i like different things something that you don't have to really just go along with like trending or whatever you can make up your own things that's to me that's the beauty of nail like yeah you can do trending but why not trend your own style you know do your own thing one of a kind right original okay so this is it for the ending of my video i hope you guys enjoyed um and if you have any questions regarding if you need links i'll be happy to share it in the comments just let me know which one um you know this was a one of the biggest sheen packages i've received and i gotten all together but i hope you enjoyed my video um and i hope um to all the aspiring nail techs out there um this is useful for you especially to try to help you grow and be more creative um, again, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe, like, comment, and don't forget to share. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Everyone, stay safe. Until next time.